Rowan was truly the guy who made Deer Camp, Deer Camp. And right here you can see very familiar sights of him sitting at the table across from me and my camper and on his bad boy buggy. Right here is a picture of him with his biggest buck that he took in Deer Camp in 2008. And we called him Ron D. Mercer because of his, uh, <laughs> he, he seemed kind of like Roy D. Mercer of Oklahoma radio fame. Here he is with his grandson, Josh Susky, and uh, this is a doe he shot on the special antlerless season. He was very proud of that deer. He shot it with his Marlin 308 Marlin Express rifle, and uh, it's one of the last times he was out hunting. And right here shows the rifle and the ammunition he used. He's really proud of that rifle picture of him standing with one of my uh, bucks I harvested. Sure is a familiar scene of him sitting down. He used to uh, <laughs> talk to an armadillo he named Fred that would come up and visit him around the campfire. Once again here's a picture of his 2008 buck that he shot and uh, also you know, loading it up onto his, his four-wheeler. Often see that four-wheeler coming through the woods and it was real quiet and you know, you'd see a little glimpse of orange here and there and you knew Ron D. Mercer was on his way out to try to kill him a deer. You can see here that buck has some blood coming out of its nose. I said, Ron, did you punch that buck in the nose to kill it or did you shoot it? What did you do? In typical Ron D. Mercer fashion. Here's a camping grate that Ron welded together and we still use it to this day. It has adjustable legs. Many a deer camp, camp meal has been prepared on that cooking grate. This rifle is my 4570 lever rifle that I got from Ron, one of the horse trader, so to speak. I got this 4570 rifle from him in exchange for a 44 Magnum revolver. And I had shot a black coyote that year, and in hindsight, it almost seems like an omen of things to come, sadly. Losing Ron, August of 2013. Also, Scott Millard was one we lost. He camped with us for a couple years. Great wit, great sense of humor. picture of my dad and I back in the 70s. He's no longer among us either and I reflect back on his wisdom. A picture of us with uh, Papa Craze on the right popping up there and Ace. He's new to our deer camp and we're glad to have him. And anyhow, here's a picture of Gary's dad who passed a while back and a picture of Gary when he was younger. That's where Gary's hunting legacy began. And here's Gary's dad securing the harvest. A nice looking buck and a doe. Looked like it was snowing out. But we have so much to be grateful and thankful for in our fathers. I lost another one, Sean. He uh, was in our camp for a year or so and uh, he had passed away unexpectedly. So we've had some loss. But old Ron, camp just will not be the same without you. We miss you sorely. Keep that fire stirred and the diet dew flowing. Around that Around deer that camp deer fire, fire in, in heaven, 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 heaven. heaven.